Hello gamers, it's Lovekitty99 and today we're in Minecraft on my creative builds world and we're in our shopping center in the last episode we made our electronics shop and today we're going to be finishing the final unit for our shopping center so ooh, the last one guys so I think what we do need uh, that I don't actually have in my inventory we're going to need to build this front wall up but first what I'd like to do is use the purple glazed terracotta to make my floor of course you don't have to use the same color that I'm using you can use any color that you like but I've decided to try and use the terracottas in this build to give us a, a bit of a feel for how they would look and what they would be used like so I'm just going to try and figure out the twiddling around to make my pattern fit in my space to get that that's not right is it I've gone the wrong way haven't I yes that's right I turn I need to turn the other way so that we can get the pattern to work properly so we get the nice full pattern I think we might yes there's the pattern there we go so if I turn there again and then put it in every second block all the way along and then we want to turn and put that at the side of those so every time you turn 90 degrees so that you can get the pattern to fit properly and then you keep doing that all the way along the entire space of your floor so if you're doing a big floor this can get a little bit repetitive and quite difficult to get it all placed right so I'm trying to do a whole row at a time to try and make it a little bit quicker while we're trying to do this on camera and like I said if you don't like these terracottas you can put in any type of floor that you think will suit for a shop but today's shop what I thought we'd try and do is make a computer and phone shop now you're thinking kitty how are you going to do that with the blocks that we've got in minecraft well i'll show you what i thought might work and you can tell me whether you think it looks like what i said it would do um, and you have to be a little bit imaginative in minecraft it's a great place to build in and yes there is a bit of limitation sometimes with the blocks that are available but if you can be creative you can come up with something that will represent what you're trying to do regardless of whether you think it actually it's exactly the theme let me see there we go I think that's the floor done so if we zoom up a little bit so you can see the pattern that actually is not bad at all when these terracotta floors came in at first I thought oh gosh they're too big a pattern they're just too overwhelming but they actually work quite well in a very small space they're a bit too much for a really big space but for these shop floors especially when you're covering some of it up it's not bad at all is it right so I think what we'll do for this one I think we will do the double door opposites again like we did in the last one and uh, I think we will leave the um, sandstone at the base of the door there and I think what we want to do is we want to pick up no pick up the cut sandstone kitty and then we'll take that at either side so we've got a two wide door in the middle and we'll go up so one two three and then on the fourth one we'll go across and then we'll just build that up so it's three tall two wide the space for the actual door and then we will continue on the two sides all the way up like so and then we will pick up the glass i think uh, and fill it in so that the windows will be the same as the shop opposite here so if we go around the edge and then we can do that slightly more difficult fitting in the centre bit and that done and then above the door that's much simpler because we don't have to try and fill in that centre bit and this one's only too wide so that will also be easy because you can just fit it in at the edges like so so that's the front of the shop there's the entrance area right so where it's a two wide window here I think this is where we're going to put the staff I've got some strange sounds coming from somewhere um, 
let's just ignore that and then let's carry on with what we're doing I'm going to use right so the materials that I've got now are white terracotta item frames quartz slab nether brick slab black stained glass pane birch trapdoor purple stairs and we don't need the glass we've already used that so right next to the door itself I'm going to use the white terracotta and we're going to put a row of one two three four five six and I'm going to use the purpose stairs and we're going to make this the cache space so we're going to leave a gap of one and put a purpose stair in for the cache register and if you come to the end of this side we'll leave one gap and put a stair which leaves you a gap of two between the tills because if you're in a phone and computer shop you're going to want the staff to be talking to the customers a lot and then we're going to leave this open at the side for the staff to walk in and out when they're coming to talk to customers and to give them advice and we're going to use the where the th we're going to use the white terror no we're not we're going to use the white uh, the <laughs> Car kitty breathe right we're going to use the quartz slab and we're going to make a shelf all the way along the wall opposite the till and we're going to use that to put our display items in in just a minute and then we are going to grab some white terracotta again and we're going to take a look at the space that we've got left so we've got one two three four five so what I would like to do is from the shelf leave a gap of one and then on leave a gap of two and then on that third row which is now level with the window leave a space to walk and then put a block leave a space to walk and put a block leave a space to walk and put a block so you've got four one two three four blocks and then you've got plenty of space here for the staff to come and talk and come around to see to the staff to the people see so you can if you want to talk and just show things you can come around that corner you've got the display area here and you've got the display area over there now I'll fly up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here what I'm going to do is use the item frames and I'm going to put one on top of each of these four plinths and then inside those we're going to display our mobile phones what I'm going to use is the white quartz slab for two of them and then we're going to use the nether brick slab for the others so here you can see we've got four different models you could use other things as slabs but this is the closest I think to looking a bit like a mobile phone is if you use the slab because it's fairly thin so it actually looks like a bit like a mobile phone it looks like a bit like a more old style mobile phone because it's it's a bit thicker so if you think back say 10 years the mobile phones were a little bit more chunky and it kind of looks like that so I think that is my representation of a mobile phone of course you could use different slabs than those but I just thought those two kind of look like a lot of the coloring that you go you tend to go for darker colors or paler colors for different models of mobile phones so that's what I'm going to put there like that so those are my mobile phones then this shelf over here we're going to want to put some computers so for my computer base, which is going to be like the keyboard, I want to use the trapdoor. So I'm going to use the birch trapdoor and then I'm going to use black stained glass and frames. So what I want to do is put the frames. Actually, I don't think the frame thing is going to work, is it? Because if I try and put a frame, it's not going to work, is it? Because if I put a frame there, it's going to be... Um, 
too high. So if I put the... Mm, what I want to do is put a frame with a piece of glass. I want the dark glass there like that. And then, right, we're going to have to take out that gap, aren't we? Because then I can get the frame like this. So what we were looking at, you see, is you've got your keyboard, which is the trapdoor, and then as it hinges to open, you've got the screen for your monitor up there. That is my idea of how to make the, phone, the uh, computer work, you see. So what we do is we take out every second one for a keyboard and then we can put the frame above them like that and then I thought the black glass would look really cool let's try using the clear glass see so you can so I've got two with clear glass and two with black glass and that you see is my representation of a folding laptop so you've got the base with the keyboard and then you've got the screen that opens up and closes down on top of it so that's my interpretation of a laptop see so we've got laptops displayed along here we've got phones displayed along here and today in this modern era what else is everybody going to be looking at in a shop like this they're going to want tablets so what I think we do is we use this corner over here for some tablets maybe or we could even display them behind the counter couldn't we in fact, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a block of four here, look. And then the tablet, we can say, is basically just a computer screen. So here we have four different types of tablet that you could possibly purchase from this store. And because we've made this a seriously purple shop with our purple floor, we will have a purple banner displayed behind the till to add a bit of colour to the shop and we will put the banners behind where the tills are so if we go like that we put them in line with where the tills are so here is our space for the shop assistants to sell you your purchases and it's the purple shop the purple phone shop and here we have our tablets here we have our mobile phones and here we have our folding laptops for you to purchase and to take to your workplaces. And if you really want to be kind of cool, we can add the purple branding at the two edges of the shop too. So that it's a little bit decorated as well in the place. And that is my idea for my mobile phone and computer shop. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And that finishes our build for our shopping centre. So hope to see you in the next one when we'll be building something new. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!